The environment matters here at WUSA 9 and right now the city of Alexandria is building a two mile long tunnel underneath Old Town. The project aims to reduce the amount of pollution that runs off into the Potomac. Matt Gregory is live in Alexandria this morning. OK, Matt, two miles underground. How does this work? Yeah, Allison, the solution to the pollution problem up here in Alexandria actually starts and takes place of roughly about 150 feet below ground. But it's not a problem that's really just unique to Alexandria. It's actually a problem that haunts experts say most cities in America built before the 20th century. Every time it rains in Alexandria, as the water comes down, something else comes up. And when it rains, that pipe fills with both rainwater and sewage, causing overflows of harmful bacteria and pollution to Potomac River and its tributaries. Justin Carl, a project manager for Alexandria Renew, the wastewater utility, says the problem isn't unique to Alexandria. More than 800 towns and cities across the U.S. have a combined rainwater and sewage system. The impact is different for each, and in Alexandria... On average, about 140 million gallons of combined sewage overflow to our waterways here in Alexandria. When we're done with this project, that will be reduced to less than 17. That project is a two-mile-long sewage tunnel under Old Town. But how do you build a two mile long tunnel to show you we got lowered by crane down almost 200 feet underground where we met project manager Ryan Payne. How do you create a tunnel underneath Alexandria without disturbing anything? So tunnel boring machine that we have here behind me. This massive instrument is Hazel, a tunnel boring machine that weighs 380 tons and stretches 460 feet long. Hazel moves four and a half feet at a time, builds a ring, and then continues mining forward. Ryan took us through portions of the tunnel already built so we could get an up close look at Hazel's work. As the machine drills, it puts in concrete rings to support the tunnel and all the dirt it digs. All the material that's excavated up at the front of the machine gets withdrawn through this screw and then deposited on the conveyor belt to be sent out uh, and up to the surface. At four feet at a time and two miles to go, the team expects to be done by 2025 with an impact that changes the future. We're doing our part to build for a foundation of a, a healthier Potomac River. And now, as you can see, this project behind me, this is kind of the up, the above ground area. It's a massive project. It has a big price tag, about $450 million that the city of Alexandria voted on to move this project forward uh, years ago. Now, if you're wondering, why Hazel? Well, uh, tunnel boring machines are often named after individuals, and lately it's been uh, one of those things where we were talking to some of the guys here that they named them after environmental activists. And in this case, it's named after Hazel Johnson, a south side of Chicago environmental activist, and this is kind of used to commemorate her as well as to recognize her uh, contributions to the environment. In Alexandria, I'm Matt Gregory. Back to you. I, I still can't believe, Matt, you were in the container going down to get a first-hand look. That's amazing. I'm afraid of heights and I'm afraid of uh, tight spaces, so that was all of my nightmares at once. But it was interesting. We got to see <laughs> well, it Well, you conquered it's it. appreciate it. Yes. Thank you, Matt. <laughs>